What up YouTube? So some of you may already know and a lot of you probably don't. I used to make a lot of dirt bike videos about 10 years ago and then uh, adulting happened and I had a child and had to get a house and all that happy stuff but finally got me another bike. I just picked up this 2016 YZ 450FX and uh, since I haven't been on one in 10 years I figured I might as well get the biggest most powerful one I've ever had so that'll be interesting. But I uh, finally got a chance to get it out. I had it out a little bit to practice some stuff in the yard and get used to it a little bit. It had a super bald rear tire. I just put this new one on. Could use a front tire, but it's not in too bad a shape. I'm going to run these ones out, and then I might try that tubeless system out. But uh, we're going to fire it up. This is going to be my first real ride on the thing, so see what she can do. much power it has now that I actually got a little traction. Get up over these tracks. I hate crossing tracks. Need to work on some hard Endora skills.
stuff. But it's hooking up pretty good on here. as an arm pump this looks like a good spot for a little breather ran into another biker down there you never see bikers around here anymore you tired of telling your wife you're going to go out and fiddle around on your little YZ125 just to come home and wonder why the UPS man still parked in your driveway. How long can it take to deliver a package, you think to yourself? He's delivering a package, all right. What you need is a YZ450FX. It's got 56 horsepower Japanese engineered and made American muscle. Stop on down, pick one up today. Don't even bother going home to tell your wife, come on down now, because a man doesn't need permission. You could come home with the bugs in your teeth and laid out on stretcher, dropped off from the back of an ambulance. you one thing I gotta get on a treadmill or something if I'm gonna be able to uh, ever try to run a cross-country race or something
guys, I was having so much fun breaking in the new bike, I actually forgot to record an outro segment, and I uh, haven't done a video in like 10 years that I took seriously, so I'm sure that's also a contributing factor. But I uh, hate to be this guy, but if you like the content, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'd like to try to get this channel to be a thing again a little bit. Um, back in YouTube's infancy, I used to make a lot of videos, and they weren't great quality, but they were decent for the time. Um, I stuck to some pretty easy trails today, just to get used to the bike and do some things, but we have some more, uh, not real technical like Adora type trails, but trails that have a lot more corners and that are also more fun to ride on. So, uh, try to get out on those next time and hopefully I can get together with some buddies and get some third person shots or, uh, just take the tripod out and get some footage next time I go out. Um, I was pretty impressed with this new GoPro 10 though, the stabilization seemed really good and uh, you could actually see a little bit of the bars and what was going on with the bike, which is something I was never able to get with the older GoPros I used, so hopefully there'll be more coming and I'll see you guys soon.